yes, it's a 5 12 p.m. Uh, and it's uh, May 8th today, it's a Monday, and after NFP, right? So, and bank holidays in London today, so probably choppy move may come, you know. So, bank holiday in London, we will favor longs above backup buyers area in both. So, as long as price is trading above backup buyers area, we will look for longs only, no shorts. Ideally, I prefer to see bias defending globex low or create a fail breakdown right there. Okay. Friday's closing is also important. Due to bank holidays in London, we may see a little chop as well. You know, price is still within a balance overall. Also, keep in mind sellers' ultimate line is prefer sellers, backup sellers in ES, both basically in ES and prefer sellers in NQ to defend. Right? Because that is the top. And it's buyer's responsibility to break above and hold as sellers can defend that area. Okay, so basically, I'm saying globex low is the key, backup bias area above, stick with longs. I wanted to see bias defending globex low or fail breakdown there, and I want also sellers you know to watch this area because that's sellers line in set but anyway we are just watching that area we are not shorting there okay so let's go here so above backup buyers area so backup buyer area in es was this 34 right so above that long only allowed backup buyers area in nq 261 only long allowed and you can see the result see that ES also even prefer buyers area bounced. This is a news driven, so you can't count this. But before that, you can see this area held, right? So overall, longs has a better probabilities. Okay. Now, uh, fail breakdown, right? Globex low was this area 43, correct? And I I also said while price was going down, I said up to 39, ES is allowed to go down up to 39. So back, so globex low plus these points, you know, and then break below, it's a problem. Till then, favor long, okay. NQ, I said 261, T till 240, it is allowed. That's a buyer's basically line in sand, final point for today. And then below, don't do anything, just call it a day off, you know, day is group. Till then, favor long, okay. That was the idea. Now, of the open, you can see price open right here. Right, so it's a gap up with good internals, right? And then when it came down, so even here I said 57 and 51 are important, you know, like before pre market, right in the before open, I said watch 51 and which is this and 57, you know, and then I talked about 54, 53 also, but anyway, we are watching this level, right? And then NQ which is this area to watch okay and I said this 311 is very important and it's a seller's line in sand based on the pre-market information at that point in time yes I said 57 is a seller's line in sand uh, so I was aware that this is a good area and sellers may defend but that was not my concern my concern was what happens after that okay so, right of the open price came to gap fill, which is 49, okay, and it was holding higher at that time, you know? so it was a bullish disconnect, strong one, okay, right here, uh, 51, right, and NQ was coming down to, I said 287, that was another level I said, you know? so I didn't take, I did not take a long in ES at 51 actually i did take a long at ens 51 you know so i forgot to mention it here right here and nqs 287 so i took both longs you know? so price went into my favor i was watching that it has to go above 300 okay so based on the bullish disconnect okay so here I took the long with ES okay at 293 then ES bounce right 
till 939 NQ also bounced right I was waiting for 300 so it got it there right so I had a two contracts in both of them okay so I bailed out one at 30 at 303 right here when it gone the way down okay I kept one here also I did the same thing the moment it went below 51 I bailed out one you know and one I held it right then it went down right so due to the bullish disconnect I was thinking it should hold now you know, at this bar, right? But when it went down, I cut it one. I, one I still held it. Then it went down to this 287, which was official globex low, right? So I added one more. So NQ now I had a two contracts. Okay. Yes, I had a one contract, right? So when yes came to 47, which is this bar, right? I I I put long here. So now I had a two contract in yes couple of members also took it but they took a stop loss hit I think somewhere around here you know or a couple of them even held it like with me so I was watching this thing okay I said now it's it's a second breakdown so e NQ if it breaks below 287 it could go to 261 you know and if ES is still around this area if it comes I will go long you know I'm watching that is what I said so here you know I was watching to say 270 area see here I was watching so whenever ES goes down right into this area I was watching that hey comes here come here and do a fail breakdown that is what I was waiting for you know so but the way NQ so at what time so NQ touched uh, 956 at 261 right so ES touched here see that 43.75 it didn't even come there right so I added a long right here so now I had a three contract right Oops. now I had a three contracts in ES right NQ I had a three contracts also okay basically I added it right here the moment it bounced right here I added 265 okay so three and three here up to this point okay now I was watching it and I was giving commentary during voice that hey now I want NQ to go back at least up to 300 you know but or 287 right those are the two levels I gave so and then here NQ bounced right so the whole idea was long okay now during that time if you look at it this was a stair step down move also right because yes wants to go higher wanted to go higher it was because of NQ you know NQ sellers were looking for specific target which was it I think 261 you know in this case so I knew that they are looking for a specific target because if you look at NQ right it was moving down in a stair step down fashion see here breakdown pullback down right and that so after breakdown it basically held the breakdown here so I knew all this thing but still I held it you know and I added one more because I know that buyers were in control in general right and London being holiday so bank holiday in London you know and tomorrow some some PPI or CPI news and yesterday's Friday's NFP up rally is not gonna go drastically down okay uh, and then at least if he wants to go down at least it will go back up to maybe this area somewhere you know and then it may come down right so that was the whole idea with the context that buyers are there okay so now so now if you look at it my average price was roughly around you know at this point it was roughly around 46 or 7 okay uh, here the average price was around 275 or so okay, or 274 or something then it bounced right so at this point if if you're looking into here like this right like this so when this candle was going higher right this area was a balance bottom like this 289 okay so I build out two contract here now I had a one contract left okay so I was profitable here right so 275 to 289 right so almost two contracts 
20, 25 points, right? Uh, and then here, yes, right? So yes, uh, it was around what time? Right here, 51, right? So I said 51, it's right here. So this is all I was live, you know, in this code I was talking, right? So here I build out two ES, right? So now I'm left with one, okay? Then ES came down here, right, at this time, at 10.40. It broke below this and closed back in at 43. So this is my assumption is fail breakdown, right? It will confirm if price goes above this, you know, this area. But that was the whole idea. The context was look for fail breakdown, right? So it was 10.40. Now let's go here in NQ. 10.40. See that? 10.36 right so it's a, this is 10.35 actually so here both see up to this point before 10.30 they were out of sync like one was going down one was holding all this thing but at this point both were in sync both did a globex low or whatever that last low breakdown at this point I said do or die either it's going to tank or fail breakdown the moment I see NQ coming down coming back up here I added it so now since I already had a one contract left here, right? So I added two more here. Whatever I took profit, I put it back. So now I am back to three contract here, right? And my overall price is 270. So yes, I did the same thing. Right here. Now I am back to three contract with good price. Okay. Now I was all I was giving this live commentary, you know. Here I said specifically I said that 45 now it needs to hold and the moment it goes above 45 you can look for big green candle you know one of the memory used to say big green candle right so here I say look for big green candle now you know now it's the time so this one worked out very nicely you know and my target was 53 which is right here NQ's target was this 300 area so then I build out. So now here I got 30 points, three contracts, right? And here I got 52, 52.5. That's where I build out, right? All of them. So here I said I build out all of them around 11 or 9 or so, you know. So now here I got good points, right? Almost 10 points. So total 30 points here and 90 points here. And that's where I said quality day off now, okay? Now in Discord, let me show you in Discord also, right? So you need a trail proof, right? Uh, I'm just looking at it. So this, right? So this, you know the reason why I took it, right? It was looking for fail breakdown. Now, 11.09, right? So that's where, where I took profit, I'll show you. Actually, I already shared this thing in Twitter also, right? So here, 11.04, right? 280.46 if it drops, then only, which is after I took, right around when I was planning to take profit, you know? So here I said, taken right here at 11.09, which is right here at 11.09, right here, okay? Then I said, before that I said 280.46 if it drops, right? So I knew when I was taking profit that it may drop. That's why I put it statement ahead of it. But if it drops to 80 and 46, right? So you can see it. 46 and this is 280. See that? Right here. 280 to the T, right? Yes, yes. It went to 43, close to it, which is fine. No? But yes, it touched 46, right? So now you are waiting. So when ES was at 46, NQ was higher, right? So you wait. When NQ touched 280, right? At that time, ES touched 43, correct? That was basically Globex low area, uh, right here. Oh, sorry, right here, right? Then you what? You wait because now response got from here, right? Now you have to wait to see what happens. The moment price goes above 46, right? That's where you go long. So I did not take a long, okay? This is after the fact because I was done here. So. And anyway, I was not even here. 
at that time it was outside so but this is the trade you can take but it's a different arrow because now you know there is ping pong kind so at least it will go back here you know maybe here you know? so when you take this trade you have to zoom down to the lowest time frame like less than a minute or so second time frame you know and then you can take long here somewhere 285 286 and target this area you know? so here see here i build up 50 right you can't target more 51 was the original area so you build out here and then you build out here that's it you know then you don't want to mess up because now you know day is screwed up right both sides are active up and down up and down so now you don't want to mess it up right then later on uh, there was a news about some fed speaker survey or something right so this is also after the fact i was not watching at that time okay so at that time if you look at it so if you're watching let's say pretend let's say we are watching at this time right and then price went higher and then it came down during the news time right so while it is coming down you have to watch very carefully what's going on right you know the day is ping pong kind see that so most likely this move is not going to survive so you look for support right still look for longs so 39 was the extended line which i gave it in the morning okay up to 39 see even here we talked about low of the day is in that was the idea we discussed in this code also that low of the day is in right right here so then it came to 39 so you can look at it here and then see that bounced right then you can see it that this was the low area all the low was were in this area correct so ideally if there was a breakdown here so far none of the breakdown held right they are all failed breakout failed right so when it came down here closed here see this was the deal for sellers you know after looking at this close they should have held this area right but we are not shorting right so then here you can see it even so if you zoom see that here they held it correct sellers held it then you see this candle correct so you're watching it right at the same time look at nq es was below morning low nq was way above in the support this green line support see that so that's a divergence right there no? nq was not weak at all right so ch chances are it may give you a fail breakdown here right but now you have to wait the moment you see this bar at this point you have to assume that hey sellers are in control maybe they can take it down right so at this point at 11 14 12 which is right here nq was closed right here okay so then what happened now you're not shorting it but the moment you see this candle going higher like this at at what time 14 14 that's where it closed at 43 correct and this guy closed above both the green line that's your signal to go long because this was a surprise news to you right so price will go back at least up to this area so that's where you should target you know now so you go long here and your stop is right here now you watch straight up right and here it can go up to this area which is this see and then now you watch see if you build out here you watch you want to basically see this area turning into support dream number right look at this see that then go higher yes same thing 51 was the line right 51 was the original line and you can see that area turning into support at the same time see that so that's how you should trade you know? based on the context you know not based on the price action yes it's based on the price action i would say but some moves are fake some moves are real so our job is to find the real moves which is this even though it was going down right we could have taken a short here also but the idea was not to take short stick with longs you know and that is a higher probability you know even though this was going down right so shorts were really really into it right so and i already clearly said in discord that sellers are aggressive buyers are only holding you know so but still i said stick with logs you know? and then it paid off right here you know and that be all for today and i'll see you tomorrow